So we're in one of we're these. In Somewhere on the here. There are crumbs everywhere. There's, there's, there's dried milk in the bottom, babe. Oh my Ew. god! Why is there blood all over them? There's poo been smeared up the backboard. Yeah. I'm not even joking. <laughs> What's up, CL fam? Oh my god, it feels like it's been ages since we've been sat here. I think the last time we were sat here for a video, it was a story time or something really dramatic, wasn't yes, it? Yes, I think it was, you know. We've got that nice background again with the flowers and the cutesiness. Do you know where we are? If you do. You're an OG. Yeah. It's hot in here, isn't it? So you guys have been loving the worst, best reviewed series. We've only done a few, but I've been reading the comments and you guys really seem to like it. So if you want to see more of these, make sure you leave a like so we know that you actually enjoy this content. And today, we've got another one for you. I feel like we need to start doing some best rated because... It's just... getting hard. It's <sighs> getting hard. Right, so the place we are visiting today has over 2,000 one-star reviews. It has 4,000 reviews and most of them are bad. That's mad. That's the worst we've seen so far. It's the worst we've come across right so we're in north wales um and we thought it would be fitting to maybe do like a campsite slash yeah like just some sort of holiday place. park because well wales is known for them isn't it like yeah. you want to come here and camp and do some well stuff. And, and the sheep like it's known for sheep but i did some research and i came across this place so today we are going to be reviewing the worst reviewed holiday park ha Ugh. Now it is a kids place. It's so... not a caravan site. It's a chalet site, whatever they call yeah. them. So it's, it's like got buildings. It's chalets and stuff. It's like a hotel park kind of thing. I think we should read some of the reviews. I think we should read some of the reviews, yeah. Look how many terribles there are. Right, so let's look at the most recent bad reviews. We like to do the most recent so that we're not like backtracking because yeah. they could have changed it since 2018, 17. Like, yeah. we need to know what's happening now. I'd also just like to say before we get into it, I've had my lips done, which is why I look like a platypus throughout this whole video. Okay, thank you. Oh my <laughs> God, this was two days ago. This was two days ago. Disgusting. Disgusting. I'd love to know who's writing the good reviews. What are their homes like? I've stayed in a 10 pound per night rundown hotel and it's nowhere near as bad as this place. <laughs> Ooh, okay. This one's literally titled, No, Never, Don't Do It. The place is awful. It's like a set from Heidi High. I don't know what that is. Only one channel on the TV. I hope I can get the England game. No proper cutlery or crockery, and the curtains were hanging off the rails appalling. Ew. Someone has literally said that the place <laughs> needs bulldozing. Wow. Oh my god, we've got pictures, we've got pictures. What's that one? Mold everywhere. <laughs> I rarely use TripAdvisor, but I had to write this one. We've stayed in some rough places, but this tops it by far. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. The room was absolutely disgusting. Stained fridge and leftover food and sore stains on top of the kettle. Eh. Last electricity check was 1998. Is that not illegal? I think that is illegal. There's a lot of mention from these as well, that there are a lot of people just there to get drunk. Yeah. The last one we're gonna read, there are so many bad ones though. Someone has said that they wouldn't even abandon a dog here. That is just, That is how bad that, it is. That's hideous. Should we start by telling them how much we've paid? Okay, so for just the two of us, it would have cost us just under 40 pounds. 38, 38 pounds. 38 pounds. Um, because my mum is tagging along, they made us pay for four people, which cost us 60 something pounds. Yeah, so just under the, the price. But if we wanted the same room, even though it caters to six people for the exact same room, if we wanted six people in that same room, they would have charged us even more. Even though it's the same room. Even though it's the same room that you're paying for. So I guess this is the point where we go and get your mum and I'm actually excited. Mama Sandra's coming. Let's go. We're on the way. We're squatted up. We're ready. Sandra's packed enough toiletries for a month, just in case. <laughs> So we are two minutes away now, and we've been reading more reviews in the car, haven't we? Yes. And basically, they, just get better. they get better. Somebody said that they turned up to the place, saw what it looked like from the car park, and wanted to leave straight away. Oh, here it is. Here it is. It's nice scenery, isn't it? Look, fields, trees, doom, yeah, <laughs> trees. Mr. Turning. I apologise, guys. I will rehearse. The wow, sun. would you just look at it? Does that not look a picture? Is that an Alecky barrier that's going to lift itself or...? Doesn't look it. Um, How do we get in? There's somebody there. Oh, there's someone here. Do we have to get out? I don't know. I'm just going to back up a second. <laughs> so already we've had bad service. Rate it down. Rate it, it down. I think that says where reception would be, not one sign. Is it down here? No. Are you sure? 
Why would they not tell you? One sign that There's not the one sign is. that says reception. Main gate there. This is the reception. I am so Reception of the narrow. Oh, up there. Wait, what? <laughs> no, it says this is reception. It does say that. We have reception. been here for what like 15 minutes walking around the whole place trying to find someone for reception it's like there's nobody here to ask not one sign. there's not one person there's not one sign and we have no idea how we're gonna get into our room so we're in one of we're these in the Somewhere on the up here. i what? mean considering this is like a children's place you would have thought it's a bit dull isn't it it's 715 yeah. though so that's 715 and what are we Door. what are we two four, something four. So uh, we're in, we're in, and we're trying to find the, the apartment. Is it? Are we upstairs? We've got a penthouse. Have we got a penthouse? Hey, I'd feel more secure upstairs, I'm not gonna lie. So this is what it looks like. It, it, I'm, I don't even know what to compare it to. I've never seen anything like it. Are we upstairs? Two, four, four. We are upstairs. Penthouse, penthouse. I'm actually glad because so many people were complaining about that they could hear noise from people upstairs. Yes, I can already hear the screaming children. Right, off we go. Oh, this looks nice. This looks really nice. Couldn't have done any indoor stairs. No, okay. Hey! We've got a balcony. It smells like the abandoned prison we went to. Oh my god, look at the door. It doesn't look anything like a dirty door. I'll have to sanitize after this. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Right, well, here we are. <laughs> it's so, time for the tour. It's time for the tour, but to start with, let me just say, they give you linen you that you have to make your own bed with. So they don't even make your beds for you, which is strange. Let me show um, them the, 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 the penthouse suite view, first of all. We're lucky enough to have a penthouse. We didn't expect this at all. I mean... Yeah, but if you look that way, it's scenes. not too bad. Oh, yeah, it looks much better that <laughs> way than it does that way, babe. You're right. First thing I noticed was the fact that there are crumbs everywhere literally everywhere they have not hoovered the floor all there's, over them. there's like some weird dandruffy salt on this sofa and i find that very disturbing and it's very scratched you want to please tell me that's your hair is that just falling out of your head i hope yeah. so no okay right does the telly work that's what we need to know england are playing sandra tonight review. sandra telly review sandra. <laughs> oh i saw that on the board yeah, I saw I saw on the board that you have to pay for your own electric and if it goes over a certain point you don't get any money back or something. What does that say? Please be aware this TV is... Oh, it's just saying if you try and... Wow! They actually have to put a sign on the wall that says we can track you if you steal this TV. Which is probably not even available to purchase anymore. How much is that worth, you reckon? Not a lot. About 20 quid you'd get on Facebook. Babe, there's, there's no electric. There's no electric. We can't sleep in the dock. How do you pay for the meter? Well, how do you how do you get it? Oh, it's the meter at the reception. There was a meter at reception for electricity. Well, why is our 15p not working? Maybe it's just not enough. Hey, we've all got flashlights on our phones. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, is that a toenail? What is that? So why are they not hoovered? Surely hoovering is like one of the simplest tasks of a cleaner. This window is just something in itself. Look at the state of that. We've got the... Oh, yeah, because it looks sideways. Ash there is an ashtray. Oh, you're not, not allowed to smoke. Here. Please switch your television to channel 6. Thompson's television for full information about our... I bet you have to pay for TV. I bet you. <laughs> I know how you went oh, with the electricity. Oh, this whole electricity. They've not even cleaned the windows. Oh my God. Right, let's have a little cutlery and cup review. I mean, that's disgusting, uh, isn't it? That's a bit nasty. Ooh, that makes me feel sick. Ooh. What's the lime scale situation? Show Sandra. Oh, Show it's pretty Sandra. bad. It's pretty bad. What? What would you drink out of that? Ugh, no. I've got a Go on, give us a bowl review or something. See if there's any cornflakes stuck to it. Hey, you know what? We'll it's, give it, we'll give it the do's. There's dried milk in the bottom, babe. Oh, okay. We won't give it the do's. And there's little fluffers. Oven. Yeah, what's the oven saying? Is it clean? Does anyone use the oven? Uh, you know what? First impression's not too bad. I don't know what you're gonna hang on that. That has been used for other things. Don't know why I touched it, gonna wash my hands. This, again, okay. I mean, it's not too bad. The mattresses look like they're part of the ocean. I mean, if we have a close look, that looks like someone's blood. Always good. Might put that on my sarnies later. Oh my Ew. god! Ew. Why is there blood all over them? Is it blood? Yes! What else is it? There's like dried blood all over this mattress. Look at it. Oh, what the hell? That is disgusting. They've turned the mattresses. Uh, what? crumbs. On the bed? Ew! Uh, I just put my finger Ew, in the crumbs. There's crumbs on this bed? Just, uh, 
the on the bed. Yeah, they've, they've turned them. The they've turned back. them from the. Uh, what the hell? Uh, How is that stained? Uh, <laughs> How is that stained? There's poo been smeared up the back door. Uh, I'm not even joking. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> I'm not even joking. There's literally poo smeared up the backboard. Oh my god, the crumbs in here are worse. They're not even crumbs. I don't even know what they are. I'm sorry, I couldn't make it up, but it looks like a child with a smeared poo. That eight. Hey, who wants a sniff test? No. Can you have a sniff test? No. <laughs> no. This is definitely the worst floor. Like, oh my goodness. This isn't even that cheap when you think about it. It's. No. Do you know what? That's one thing I want to say. A critique that I had is that for this room, if there was only two of us in here, we would have had to pay £30. Right. Because there was three of us, it was £60. But even though this room caters for six people, if we wanted six, uh, six people, even though we would have had the same room, they would have charged us even more yeah. for the same room. So Sandra's already christened the bathroom, so... She must yeah, forget. Oh, it's actually it smells really nice because Sam just wiped it down. <laughs> it's it's not bad to be perfectly honest. Hello, it's actually not bad. Oh my god, they've what? got a race a race truck uh, bath. I guess that's because kids, yeah. <laughs> you know one of them. Wow. Yeah. These are the stairs to the apartment. And they all look like they're about to fall down. <laughs> Dangerous. Yeah. There's kids getting up and down there. We found the arcade and it's pretty big. And there's a charge. So I can go on the here. two beer machines. About that. 175. Mama Sandra is the best at getting one of these out. She wins every single holiday after spending about 60 pounds. Oh yeah. <laughs> right, how much have I got? You've got a tenner to spend on whatever you want. Is so, that it? Yeah. I've only got 10 pounds. Yeah, your mum can have a go on something. Okay. Yeah, you can have a quid to start with, alright? I think we've got some fans and they're too scared, so I'm gonna wave at them and see what happens. Hello, how are you? Yeah, of course. Right, babe, you know how gambling works, don't you? When the fun stops, stops. When the fun stops, stops, but also win me my money back, okay? Sandra's on the claw machine. She knows exactly what she wants, and she's gonna get it. Here it goes. That is the what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, how many goes left? How many goes left? One. One? She's good at this. She used to be a North Wales champ. Sandra coming through. With the bowling techers. Is she gonna get a strike? Oh, what, what happened? You were too slow. What happened? Time out? How you get a time out with bowling? I didn't even know that was a thing. <laughs> Come on, that's gotta be a strike. Look at the pace on that bad boy. <laughs> you weirdo. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go! First strike of the evening. <laughs> So Liana decided that she wanted to keep her tickets, not get a prize, or give them away. But she also didn't want to give them to a child, so uh, we're just walking out with the tickets. <laughs> that made me sound that bad. One thing that I have noticed is that a lot of people don't come here specifically for their kids, their kids to have a good time. They come here to get drunk without kids. Like, by the looks of it, they stare at you like they're ready to start a fight with you. Kind yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we found the bingo. We thought it was going to be in some sort of hall. No, no, no. This is the bingo. True. <laughs> They've whacked them in some scaffolding in the field. They're just in the middle of the field. Who's ever seen that? And we were looking forward to a bit of bingo, weren't we? We found the food. It doesn't matter if no one's there. I'm about to be in there. I'm starving. Oh no, there's no. Oh, there is food. I see food. I ain't talking about fish. <laughs> So this is what we're talking about. So there's a tea bag there, a random jumper over there, and just litter everywhere. How much does it cost just to get a cleaner? You wouldn't feel safe leaving your child to play on the grass because we've seen like sharp bits of plastic. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't want your child playing on it. We have acquired the cheesy chips, and one thing we must say again, like the last place we went, we can't fault the staff so far, can we? No, they're they so. They have all been so nice. Really we took nice. a picture with the girl who was there serving us, and it was honestly like. They were also nice. Chip review! Oh. Okay, I think we need a younger palette and a more... Oh. Uh, Mature not palette. Old, not old, hey, I never said old, and a more Mature. experienced oh. palette. Is that, that sounds so strange. <laughs> Can you go wrong with a cheesy chip? <laughs> Bit rubbery. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? What is it? Let me see. Please tell me that was cheese and not a hair. I don't know. I think we should have got one to share. <laughs> yeah, why do we get three portions? Wait, what are you giving it? 
I'm giving it a. It's just a, a, a five. Five, yeah. They're actually not bad, to be honest. They're they're really not that bad. There's a fluffer on it. There's on a fluffer there. on yours. I've, I've got a fluffer on my chip. So the food, Sandra gave it a five. I gave it a five. Liana didn't even eat it because it had a fluffer on it. But I think we just need to have a quick look around the front because I don't think there is actually anything else. Like you can't go into the swimming. A lot of it is closed. Like they've got like yeah. rides here that are, are closed down. Oh, oh not closed not open down. Now, not open yeah. right now. So should I we think... just show them around then? Yeah. The facilities, and then we'll dip. So over there, we've got go karting swings, Close. and it's obviously it's closed. It's late, and this is like where you can get your little driving um, license, which is actually really adorable. I did this in Legoland, but it's Nigel Thornberry's long lost twin, <laughs> Gavin Petermore. <laughs> oh my God! There's a dead mouse hanging off the bin. No, there is. What the hell? Oh no! It's just a bit of goat's fur. What the hell is that? That's off someone's pillow. That is. Oh my God! What is that? It's got poo on it. I'm not even joking. <laughs> in here, I don't know if you can even see it, but there's a skate park. That's actually, that's pretty, I mean, that's pretty cool. It's an indoor skate park. Oh, and you have to pay four tokens for I, 30 minutes. That's what I've noticed, right? So it was actually quite expensive for our room. It was 60 pounds for three So months. yeah, but when you think about it, that's all we got for that 60 pounds, just the room, because the rest of the park. You have to make your own bed. The room's dirty. <laughs> pay for the electricity. Yes, you can't even watch you TV. You can get a Premier Inn room for like 30 quid and get a TV. You can hire a bike to bike from there to there. Where are you going to bike? How much is it? Adult bikes are £10. £10 deposit, please. What does that mean? Eight tokens per half an hour. We, we don't know how much a token costs. Oh my god, so you, oh my god. That's for a two It gets worse. This is the swimming pool. Again, don't know if you can see it because I'm pressed up against the window, but it's quite big um, and it looks all right, to be fair. This machine has squirted so many times that Connor wants to go. You like a bit of squirt, don't you? <gasps> oh, oh it's getting me wet. <laughs> You're going to put the fire. Oh, it's flashing me. Oh. <laughs> You're spinning the man at the top! <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do that? It went in my mouth. Uh, look at the state of it! Right, well that's it. I'm wet. Everything else is closed. There's a pub down the down the end and there's some like very drunk people outside so we don't really want to like, you know, when they're a bit rowdy, like I said earlier, the type of you people You stay who, away. You stay away. You How was your experience for that? Do you feel exhilarated? Do you feel like a new person? <laughs> A dirtier person, probably. They didn't even hoover the room. So I think we're going to go and try and get some food elsewhere. And uh, we'll give you a full review at the end. So, um, where where do we start? I'd like to say, yeah. Mama Sandra has abandoned us. Like, she's meant to be here for the final evaluation. She's gone to pick up she's the kids peed from off school. to pick up kids. Let's talk about what we experienced. So you guys have just seen this, so we don't need to go into depth, but let's do a quick overall summary. I think the only reason I'd ever go there was for the arcade. If you're going for a day or to watch an England game, then it would be pretty cool. I just wouldn't stay there. I felt very uncomfortable if I was there with young children, because there were so many drunk adults. I wouldn't take my being kids a there. Bit I wouldn't rowdy. take my kids there. I'd be, I'd be quite scared of them, like wandering off or something. That and the grass, those like plastic bits in the grass, like you wouldn't trust your kid to like play in the grass because there were so many like random bits that they could hurt themselves on. So for thirty-eight pounds a night, you get the room. That is it. No electricity, no TV, no heating. You have to put your own bed sheets on. It's not clean. They don't even Hoover clearly. So for thirty-eight Who pounds, <laughs> you can probably get a, a Premier Inn somewhere nicer for thirty. Pounds. And just go into an arcade on the street yeah. somewhere. Yeah. And you'd probably have a better experience, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. So I'm not sure what it is you're paying for with the £38, because if it's that room, then that is disgustingly overpriced. It's not just that, though. That holiday park, like, nothing comes included. It's, well, I guess the activities, but the activities not really. were all What activities like, are included? That bingo. That was meant to be a disco bingo that we experienced. You know, the, that the, doesn't make up for the £38. They threw them into their feet. <laughs> That doesn't make up for the thirty-eight pounds. It doesn't make up for the. Well, no, it was sixty pounds for us. It was sixty pounds, even worse. Yeah. And that's a night. So the rest. And so everything was closed. The as arcade well. obviously is paid for because it's an arcade. The bar, we don't know how expensive it was because we never went because there was the. We it was didn't a wanna, pub. It, wasn't it? It, it was no, but even in the arcade bit, there was a bar. 
Yeah, there not was the pub a, beer, that's yeah. separate. The food, we, I can't really complain, it was just cheesy chips, we didn't really try much. But everything else, like all the activities you have to pay extra for. So again, I ask myself, what's included in that price? So you're looking at, if you think about it, how much do you have to pay for electricity? for About a fiver or something to get? A lot, and would you want to? Because it's And not then you have to checked. pay for the TV, couldn't you? So all in all, I wouldn't stay there. I wouldn't take my family there. I think this is the first place that we have been that I can definitely say that the reviews are correct. correct. Very correct. And that it deserves to be the worst rated. There was poo on the headboard. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. We can't do the member shout out because uh, we're, we're in North Wales. We also can't be very loud because my dad is actually working upstairs. He's that's working why we're from being home, a bit which is why we're a bit like, yes, hello. Yes. But thank you so much for watching. Like I said, leave a like if you enjoy this series. We've made a whole playlist, so if you want to run through them from the beginning, you can do. And we'll see you on Saturday for a brand new video. We love you, millions, and we will see you in the next love one. You.